Hi, it's Tony with Talking Car Biz. In this video, I want to talk about how to use autos on video and the introduction feature to follow up with your customer. So, introductions. Are they important? What purpose do they serve? I think primarily the, the main purpose they serve is helping your customers stay engaged with you, to reconnect with you. We all know that people buy from people they like. The day they spent two or three hours with you at the dealership, you spent a lot of time building rapport, building relationship, and then they leave the dealership. You might not talk to them for a day or two days or three days, a month, a year. How do you keep that relationship strong so that the next time you talk to them, you don't need to start over where you left off or start over from the beginning, I should say. So. A selfie introduction helps keep your face in front of them, your personality in front of them, your sincerity in front of them. Do they work? Do they help? Well, based on a study we did of two different sales consultants who use AutoZone video, they're using, one of them is always sending out a pre-recorded video to their customer with no introduction. The other one always sent out a video with an introduction. No surprise, but the person who used the introduction uh, was able to achieve three to four times the results of the person who had no introduction. So what are the introduction types? In this video I want to walk you through how to record a generic selfie introduction. What is a generic selfie introduction? It's a pre-recorded video that stays on your iPhone so that you can repurpose over and over again every time you choose to send out a video. There's three elements in this video. The first is thanking the customer for their interest in your products and the opportunity to earn their business. The second is encouraging them to watch the video and look at any pictures you might have sent them. And then to call the, to follow up or call you back if they have any questions. The third objective is to set up the next steps, what the customer can expect from you later. So it sounds a little bit like this. Hey Mr. Customer, it's Tony here at ABC Motors. Wanted to thank you for your interest in our vehicles. We've got a great selection, including the one you're interested in. Following my introduction, there's a quick walk around video. Feel free to watch that. Then if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please give me a call. Otherwise, I'll reach out to you later today to schedule a test drive. Thanks much, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so that's a word track, that's a script that I've written out, and I'll share it with you. Click the link below to download it. Now, it is a script. I did write it out, I practiced it, I committed it to memory. I've literally used this script hundreds of times. As a result, when I say it, it comes out natural. It is now my words. You use scripts every single day on the dealership, whether it's welcome to ABC Motors or sign here. They're all scripts and word tracks. So you can use mine or you can create your own, but then go ahead and record that selfie. You're not gonna get it right the first time. It does not have to be perfect. Something done is better than nothing done. You can always redo it later, all right? But be aware of your background settings when you do your selfies. It's May of 2018. It's a beautiful night. Trees have leaves on them. In January, those leaves are gone and it's freezing cold out here and there's probably snow out. So I want to make sure that I'm aware of my background. Me personally, I would re-record it at least twice a year, three times a year. But keep that generic one in your holster so the next time you go to send out a video, you can just attach it and move on with your next follow-up. This is Tony with Talking Garbage. Thanks for watching.